session one version control with git what you will learn in this session the session agenda of the session is version control and git local and remote repositories what they are installing git we will do that installation on our local machine the linux machine initializing a git repository git log so version control systems knowing the command is not knowing git people feel that you know the command git and you are done no it is not that you have to have good understanding behind the screen uh, how it is working and that make you much more comfortable and confident when you are using git so version control system version control is all about managing multiple versions of documents programs websites etc almost all real projects use some kind of version control we can't uh, work in it without version control if you are a developer you have to have some uses of version control it is essentials for team projects but also very useful for individual projects some well known version control systems are cvs subversion mercurial and git what is the difference how cvs subversion how are they different if yes in what sense then what are the use cases which one you should use and when cvs and subversion use central repository concept means you just check out the code this is your source code repository user will check out the code on local machine this is local machine of the user work on the code and check the code back in work on them and check them in mercurial and git treat all repositories as equal and they are decentralized or distributed concept where every system can have its own repository and work independently and then they can merge distributed systems as i said they are not central they are distributed so distributed systems like uh, git and mercurial are newer and are gradually replacing the old centralized system like cvs and sub subversion in most organizations different people work on same file and there is a need to know who changed what that definitely that's the precisely the definition of version is my version is this what is your version you work on the same file version control enables users to track changes to a file or files and if something goes wrong revert to a previous version of the file a version control system record changes to a file or set of files over time so that you can recall specific version later there are three types of version control systems local centralized distributed we discussed centralized we discussed distributed we got the idea what is centralized and what is distributed and local we know what it should mean so version control basics look at this example scenario the time is going on now on 1st november 2018 we created a home page your project team is working let's say dream travel this is your project and this is a version control system we are talking about so on 1st november 2018 home page was created new home page is file is created here and therefore on this date a new version is created now we are on 7th of november 2018 now we got some more pages home page and about us page about us information is updated to the home page so updated version will be created on 7th of november on 13th november we team profile page is created team profile page is created and it is updated on the home page so therefore new version is created and we continue with this process and new versions are being created every time we are updating anything on the page that is concept of version control that's concept of version actually let me put it that way not version control version this is a sample web application for dream travels 
why we need version control it enables collaboration module for example we have task 1 plus task 2 plus task 3 now three tasks are to be worked upon developer 1 is working on task 1 developer 2 is working on task 2 and developer 3 is working on task 3 plus the module consists of all the three tasks working together therefore we need to collaborate between three users so that we can have complete module ready even though individual developers work working on individual tasks so it increase it enables collaboration second storing versions version 1 version 2 we can have three different versions of the same file and third backup with version control systems workstation on PC1, this is PC2, this is third system and working copy of PC1, working copy of, of the same file on PC2, working copy of same file on PC3 and this is repository where we are committing the updates, pulling the updates from the repository after changes are made we are committing them to the repository. So pull the updates, commit the changes, pull the updates, commit the changes. So backup with version control system, that is the reason we need version control. We need to have who worked on what part of the project. Distributed version control systems, which is Git as a type of version distributed version control. So in distributed version control, how it works? We have a repository on the server, we call it as a remote repository. It's remotely located like GitHub or OCIR or anywhere. This is remotely located. This repository is not our local system. This is uh, remote. So what we do, uh, workstation on PC1 will pull the images, pull the data, pull the copy in the local system and that becomes the local repository. So this is the local repository on this system for this user. Now he pulls the code from remote to his local and now he is working here. Now he is working in this environment that is pulling the update on the working area that is working copy and then committing the changes to the local repository. When he is satisfied that everything is good, now he can push this code to the remote repository. Same thing workstation PC2 can do that he can pull the code from remote repository to local repository and then he can work on it and commit the changes to local when he's satisfied he can push the code to remote repository same goes for PC3 so what is a repository repository is a data space where all files related to a project are stored the simple definition sometimes these simple definitions also not clear you know with the participants so it is just a data space where all files related to a project are stored uh, in what format they are stored that is interesting to watch out version management collaborative development on source code track changes manage branches and releases allow rollback and changes means you can go back and you can uh, roll back the changes if you are not happy not satisfied something went wrong you go back to the old version you can do that so git what is it created by Linus Benedict Torvald in short Linus Torvalds creator of Linux do you know that he created Linux at age of 21 when he was of your age in 1991 in 2005 he created git good 14 year after he created Linux that is kernel he did not create complete Linux remember that he created only the kernel but then how Linux is created overall Linux Linux consists of applications utilities programs all open source so credit should not be given to only Linus Torvalds. In 1984, Richard Stallman started a project called Open Source Foundation, OSF. He had applications, he got a lot of people 
un under this umbre umbrella of open source uh, you know foundation he created a license also for that that was uh, gnu gpl license general public license it used the concept of copy left not copyright copy left means you are allowed to make copy you are allowed to modify you are allowed to use it you are allowed to distribute it but very important clause is that whatever you changes you make whatever modification you do has to be public has to have the same terms so you are restricted from making changes and saying that no this is my copy now because i made changes this is my copy now that protect this license so anybody making changes will create a new version and that also remains public that remains also open source richard stallman started gnu project he created license people started following it and linus torvald in 1991 he launched linux uh, this linux with open source with under gpl in 1992 he, ad he adopted the gpl 9192 uh, slightly later in 2005 he created git is a free and open source distributed version control tool for tracking changes in digital files that is project related source code and documents and coordinating work on those files among multiple people there are several options available to achieve version control git is very popular and successful one due to its distributed nature you notice that there was a local there was central and the distributed we are studying distributed because git is a distributed git is locally enabled therefore you have a local copy so connectivity issue do not hinder your work that's a, that's a great idea because what you get is a local repository you work on it so uh, you are not concerned about the connectivity when the connectivity is there you push the code to the central repository i mean the remote repository apart from that you continue working in the local repository on your system this is your system users do not need any complicated server setup or software a simple command line tool is enough and that is git git support for non linear development that means thousands of parallel branches thousands of developers working on the branches able to handle large project efficiently by the way what is the term git why he named it git according to him git is a cranky old man and linus meant himself <laughs> he said i am a old cranky man at the age of uh, in 2000 if he was at 9, uh, 21 in 1991 Uh, after 14 years he, what was his age 36 years he was not that old but he named uh, that yeah i am old enough now old man so he meant uh, uh, himself states of files in git there are three states of files in git modified files staged files and committed files users have ch made changes to the files but have not yet committed them to the local repository that's called file modified but not committed second is staged users have marked a file in its current version to go into your next commit snapshot that means ready mark the file and third committed means the data is safely stored in your local repository not remote remember local repository So this is the stages of the sections of git now you will understand from the diagram this is your working directory this is your dot git directory that's called repository dot git directory is your repository and this is your staging area so when you are working first what you do is you check out the project in your current working directory and start working on it so once the changes are done you use a term called stage stage the fixes to the staging area once the staging is done once the satisfaction you are satisfied then you commit and that will send the data to the repository that is local repository this is the workflow of git git versioning these are check ins over time version 1 these are original version first version file a file b and file c in version 2 file a is not changed it is same file b is changed this is b changed file and c1 Oh, sorry b is not change a become a1 c become c1 and file b is same 
Now file B is still same here in version 3, A1 is still same, but C is changed to C2. In version 3, A2, A1 became A2, B became B1, but C2 remain unchanged. In the final version, like version 5, A2 remain same, B1 be, uh, B1 became B2, and B, uh, C1 uh, C2 became B C3 and the process continues. So this is called uh, check-ins from uh, Git and how the files keep on changing, how different versions keep on, uh, you know, keep on coming up. Source code contains directories and files. So the substance of software configuration, what we have in the source code. Repository consists of files, commits, Ancestry relationship, meaning we call it as a form which forms a directed acyclic graph. So how they are changed? As the time is passing up, they keep on tracking the old version. This is current version, suppose. They keep tracks of the previous version, keep track of previous version B and C also and the original version. So they have a complete tracking for the previous version or the starting version. Putting it all together, repository stored in .git directory. So we have a head where currently you are placed at, where you are writing the data. You write the data, the head, that is the top, current state. Topics, testing, release for example. Now after some time what you do, uh, this is another index file. This is staging area. This was history. This is index and this is what we call it as staging area and third is the files you added that is your work tree files you added stored in the parent directory of git directory means about dot git directory go back index also stored into the history uh, dot git directory history also stored into the dot git directory so what we have is repository history then we have staging area then we have files you added, they are stored into the parent of .git directory. That is how git is organized physically on the file system on your system. So what do you do? You In the work tree, you add files to the staging area and you commit them to make them permanent in the repository. You pull the file that is called a checkout in your repository, in your work area where you work on those files. Basic operations and commands. What is the sequence of commands? You set up and branch management. That include init command, checkout command, branch command. Then you modify. The commands for that are add, delete, rename, commit. You need information. For that we have status, diff and log. And then you may also would want to create a reference points that is for tag and branch so the commands basic operations based on the commands first command is get init this create a new repository in an existing project or directory we are going to do that we are going to create initialize it you can also do cloning that is git clone that you in that case you don't need git init that will clone an existing repository from remote from another server so either we use git init or we use git clone in both cases a dot git directory will be created and repository will be initialized in your current directory dot git remember then we add files to the repository that is to the staging area using git add remember staging area start tracking and staging the change stage the changes and then finally, once the files are staged, sufficient number of files are staged, you commit them. Commit the changes means put them into the .git directory or place them, mark that as repository, this commit changes. So repository, the data, the files are committed to the repository and are available in the repository now. This is your local setup. Suppose you want to pull the changes from repository. Not cloning. Cloning was done for the first time, initialization or cloning. But if you want to pull the changed file from report, uh, remote repository, you use pull.
pull changes from a remote server and merge them with a file in the working directory, not the repository. Git push opposite push local changes to the remote server from your uh, remote uh, from your local repository to remote. Git status view changes since the last commit. Git rm stop file tracking. Git mv rename a file. These are some of the commands, commonly used commands, when you work with git. Git init, git clone, git add, commit, pull, push, status, rm, and mv. So how would you do cloning a repository? Example, git clone url. Add a new file, git add readme.rst. Remove the file, git rm file name. Commit the changes. Git commit hyphen am or hyphen m. Simply m is sufficient and the commit message. m stands for message. Other git commands. Show log. Git log. Show commits. Git show. Show differences. Git diff. Unmodify <coughs> modified file. Git checkout hyphen hyphen there is a space file.py revert a commit git revert commit name that will be showed by log download and installing git this is what we are going to do the hands on part now after I finish this demonstration I mean this discussion I will show you the demonstration so go to this directory or if you are using Linux any flavor of Linux you can simply run the command yum install git it's that the simple as that yum install git hyphen y means do not ask me do not prompt me just do the installation introduce yourself to git what you do after you install git is you set up some configuration global configurations like git config hyphen hyphen global username and user email this is what I set if you need uh, you need to do this only once if you want to use a different username or address for a particular project, you can change it for just that project. Use the above command but leave out hyphen hyphen global. Your default branch name. By default, Git will create a branch with the name master when you create a new repository with Git in it. You can set a different name for the initial branch if you want, like Git config global init default branch is main. If your messages are big and you don't want a one-liner or phrase kind of message, then what you can do is you can specify an editor to specify the message. So when you commit, Git will require you to type in a message, commit message. For longer commit message, you will use an editor. The default editor is VIM. To change the default editor, you can use git config hyphen hyphen global core.editor and the path to the editor. You may also want to run on colors, turn on the colors, git config, global, color.ui and then auto. Now you want to check your settings, what all you have done. If you want to check your configuration settings, you can use git config hyphen hyphen list. Git config hyphen hyphen list, you will see in the username, mail, status, branch, interactive auto difference auto and you will see all the list of defaults first time git setup the git config lets you get and set configuration variables these variables can be stored in different places three different places first is whatever the path is etc config file section this contains value applied to every user on the system and all their repositories. Second is in your home directory, tilde symbol represent home directory, dot gin config or dot config slash git slash config. Value specify personally to you, that is user, specific user. Then third is config file in git directory, that is dot git slash config of whatever repository you are currently using specific to that single repository 
each level override the value in the previous level so the values in dot get config trump uh, stored those stored in the path uh, slash etc slash git config if you want to see which one is being used you can use git config hyphen hyphen list show origin create an filler repository now sequence of steps go to the directory you want to work cd followed by the directory name then initialize it that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to add all the files git add dot or individual files using git add one two three three different four different files i'm adding and then committing the changes and then using the commands on this when you set git in it in your project directory on when you cloned an existing project you created a repository it's a subdirectory named dot git containing various files the dot indicate that it is a hidden directory not visible with normal ls command you do not work directly with the contents of that directory various git commands do that for you you never ever go inside dot git directory however git commands do that for you show log will show you the logs show git log options version range revision range hyphen hyphen separated by space and option uh, path this list commits that are reachable by following the parent links from the given commits but exclude commit that are reachable from one given with a caret symbol that is negation in front of them you can think of this as a set operation commits reachable from any of the commit given in the command line from a set it form a set and then commit reachable from any of the one given with caret symbol in front of or subtracted from that set it log it will show the commit logs the command git log let's say foo bar and bars so this will be displayed it means list all the commits which are reachable from foo or bar but not bars because caret symbol is negation a special notation is also available that is commit name dot dot commit to can be used as a shorthand for negation of commit one and commit two for example either of the following command may be used interchangeably like you can use git log origin dot dot head which means you want to display head but not origin so git log head and not origin another special notation is triple which is useful for merges triple dot the resulting set of commit is symmetric difference between the two operands the following two commands are equivalent that is git log ab hyphen hyphen not git merge base hyphen all ab instead of this you can do git log a and triple dot b that will be the same command so example workflow open a file devops check the git status and you will see this kind of message git status hyphen s you will file the name git difference will use this message now they add the file devops.txt to the staging area you will see the status will show you that there is one file modified file available git difference cache it I'll show you that and then finally you commit it to the repository this is example workflow first of all let's check whether git is available or not whether it is installed or not and let me change the preferences increase the font size so that it is visible and better okay first of all yum what provides git this command will tell me which package from which repository provide git command and is provided by ol7 latest repository on oracle linux you will see different versions of uh, git available this is 13 this is 14 this is 19 and you see different and latest is 23 so when you say git yum install hyphen y git this will install git latest version that is 1.8.3.123 sub version and it will install all the dependencies as well now make a directory let's say 
एम के डी आई आर और एकल ई डी और एकल एंड नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू इनिशलाइज माई रेपोजिट्री हेयर गेट इन इट सो इनिशियल रेपोजिट्री इज क्रिएटेड इनिशलाइज एम टी रेपो एल एस आई फन ए एल विल गिव यू दैट बट सिंपल एल एस विल नॉट गिव यू दैट विदाउट ए इफ यू वॉन्ट ट्री कमांड इफ इट इज नॉट इंस्टॉल्ड यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल इट बट यू शूड ट्राई ट्री कमांड एज वेल कमांड नॉट फाउंड नो वारी प्रोसेस इज सेम यम इंस्टॉल ट्री आई फन वाई and that will show you what all files are being created as we are working with git that makes lot of sense so now tree command and you see uh, tree hyphen a will show you what is created for you when you initialize what exactly is created that gives you complete understanding that dot git directory was created under that you see branches config description head hook info objects and references these files and directories are created you never get inside them directly i repeat okay is there anything inside this config file cat dot git slash config right now there is nothing if you see uh, this is the configuration core repository formation file mode bare false and this now let's uh, add a file let's create a file first vi read dot me is my first file for git i save the file i add this file git add read me now if i check git status we will see that there is one file new read me but is not committed yet i have added the file the file is there in the staging area this is changes to be committed if you want to unstage the file you can use git rm cached and file name unstage this file let's use this git rm hyphen hyphen shade file name dot me now if try the git status there is nothing left don't see untracked file now we, this comes under untracked file let's add it once again it add and now let's commit git commit fun message that is hyphen m the message this is how you specify the message and the file is added now if you see status we will see the file nothing is commit uh, for commit now is directory is clean nothing to commit working directory is clean and the file is committed that's how you add if i see git log i'll see my status the git uh, commit number commit details author who created it date <coughs> and what was the message so these are the initial set of commands what i want you to do is to practice the commands now 